All right. Hey, folks, it's Faz here from Faz Lifts. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about why you're probably using calorie calculators incorrectly and why that is ruining your dieting progress. So firstly, thanks for making it onto my channel. Um, if you could go ahead and uh, drop yourself down in the comments, let me know where you're coming from, uh, what you think of the video when you've watched it. Give me a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you make sure you get my videos when they come out. All right, let's crack on with the video. So why you are probably using calorie calculators incorrectly. So summary of the issue is that online calorie calculators offer really nothing more than a guesstimate of what would be a reasonable TDE for you. Like, But the problem is that all too often they're seen as just this gospel, this number you have to have right before you can even start the diet. The amount of times I've had people say, well, what do I start my diet on? Which calculator is best? Which one should I use? Because everyone wants the perfect start. People, they agonize over it. They want the perfect start. They won't even start before they have the exact number right down to the calorie with the macros and whatever else. So the problem is that it prevents people from actually doing what they need to do, which is just to get started. Next, people also think that they, they are broken when they can't lose weight at the calorie levels that they're given. And as a result of that, people then go on to think, well, in that case, calories in versus calories out just doesn't work. And they do all that because they just, at the heart of it is, they've misunderstood how to use the calorie calculator in the first place. So the solution to all that is quite simple. Firstly, understand you don't need a perfect start, all right? Calorie calculators, for the most part, are pretty much pointless. And I'm going to give you three solutions of how it is better to work out your calories over the course of a diet than look at calorie calculators online, all right? So the first one, firstly, just use the calorie calculator result as a starting point. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just put in whatever. If you insist on using one, if you really can't do without it, you're like, oh, well, I've got to use the calculators, just pick one. Roll the dice because it will be about as useful as me telling you to use one rather than the other. Roll the dice and pick one, okay? Just pick a starting point, and I'll explain to you why it doesn't actually matter what the starting point is. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to stick to those calories and macros, and you're going to monitor for two weeks. You're going to monitor for two weeks. And then you'll adjust as necessary at the end of those two weeks. So at the end of those two weeks, if you lost weight, great. Continue. It's enough. Whatever calorie level the calculator spat out was enough. You've lost weight. Great. Cool. Crack on. If you didn't lose weight, then drop the calories by a further 200 pounds, by 200 calories, and just monitor that for another two weeks. Repeat points two to four there and just keep monitoring for another two weeks and then at the end of those two weeks adjust as necessary again same thing and just keep doing that till you find your level all right now that's a really easy solution it uses calorie calculators here's the solution that i most normally use okay i generally don't use calorie calculators anymore because of the randomness of the inaccuracy. And also this is the, the weight that people attach to these calorie calculators because they're just pointless. The weight should be attached to the evaluation during the process, not getting the perfect start. So this is the, another alternate, uh, an alternate solution that I use. I generally just simply use body weight in pounds times roughly 15 as a good starting point for someone's TDE. And then from that number, you subtract about 500 calories to start with on a fat loss diet, right? Now, that multiplier could be anywhere between 12 to 18, depending on how muscular and how active you are, okay? So if you're not very muscular and you're not very active and you're quite overly fat, pick the low end, okay? Pick the low end. Then it gives you a starting point because that's all you need. You just need a starting point. So you've got a starting point. There you go. Want to do those calories for a couple of weeks? and then it's just as necessary. If you lost weight, great, continue. If you didn't lose fat, then drop the calories by a further 200 and repeat the process, monitor for another two weeks and adjust as necessary. That is infinitely more useful. You start, you should only really start once. Your diet will continue for, I don't know, however many weeks, 
right? You've got to know how to evaluate the process. It's far more important than having the perfect start because of some arbitrary calculator telling you that. Stop doing that. You don't need that stuff. You need to know how to evaluate as the weeks go on. All right, next is another solution. This is the third one, which doesn't involve calorie calculators and it doesn't involve multipliers. This one's possibly the most simplest one and it's definitely the most accurate one. Just literally monitor your food, your calories for two weeks, monitor whatever, it, everything you're eating for two weeks and monitor your body weight alongside that. If you lost weight, great, continue. If you didn't drop any body fat, then drop calories by a further 200. If you somehow gain weight, then drop calories by even more. All right, but that's possibly the most accurate solution because it just deals with you as an individual. It doesn't deal with any sort of made up numbers. So the bottom line is, look, there is no magic okay, in a calorie calculator. There's no magic in any starting point. It's the illusion of perfection that what people, that's what people want. People love it. People love to have the perfect plan. There is no perfect plan. The magic, if there is any magic, is in understanding how to change your calories when you get stuck that's the magic because you're going to get stuck everyone plateaus so set your calories lose some weight when you stall learn how to evaluate that don't give up and think oh that's it carries in versus carries out doesn't work or blah 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 whatever else this is just rubbish learn how to evaluate i, I honestly think if people learned how the skill of evaluating their own calories and changing them as they go along the diet there would be far less frustrations all right. Right, folks, uh, I'm going to call it there. Um, hit up a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments down below, and I will speak to you next time. Take it easy.